The Aura Centre for Doctoral Training is an enabler for innovation in the offshore wind sector. Unique in its cross-disciplinary approach and close partnerships with industry. Offshore wind energy is such an important part of our future uh, energy mix. The Humber is the national centre for offshore wind. There is huge wind resource and potential in the North Sea. Creating the Aura Centre in the Humber region has meant that we've been able to leverage the maximum advantage from our research base for the benefit of industry and society. The CDT is designed to deliver future leaders for the offshore wind sector. What we see with our students is they have the capability and capacity to engage with each other independent of the different um, research backgrounds they come from or the research problems they're working on. There's a real need to develop a, a range of projects focusing on, on different areas, looking at fundamental sciences and applied sciences. My research is about investigating the impacts of motion sickness on cognitive skills and motor skills, and it's to inform the offshore wind industry for maintenance workers. So my research is wind-sourced energy storage, so using nanotechnology to benefit storing of excess renewable energy in form of hydrogen. My research project is taking textile waste uh, materials to produce carbon materials for the reinforcement of offshore wind turbine blades. So my research is studying how power driving affects in faunal invertebrates within the sediment. So that's basically how installation of offshore wind affects invertebrates within the sand and the, and the mud in the ocean. We can't make the change without the people and the people here are the students that are going to be coming into net zero. They help us also to develop ourselves to become a better in the future, like leadership training, writing skill, and giving a presentation about our own project, actually. I think the real value of industry engagement is the fact that you're learning from people that are experiencing these problems and these challenges in the real world. And that enables you to much better apply your research and your work to solve the problems that they need the answers to. Being able to work with industry as well, they've got leading researchers, first class facilities as well that can help me understand what industries are looking for. Over last summer I have worked with my industry partner Ari Catapult. There were certain skills that I was able to learn, how to look into the problems in a different way to find the solution. Industry links have been really important with my research. More so, I've been getting great assistance and guidance from um, people in the, in the industry. I'm always excited to see the passion, the enthusiasm, the absolute urgency here that there is for our climate emergency and that here we've got students engaging in innovation that is going to help make our transition towards a net zero Britain happen. Being able to access the factory, the people doing it and um, get an understanding of what's being done now and then also what's in the development pathway at the moment. Um, both allows me to future-proof my own project, uh, but also know that what I'm doing is directly impacting what's being done today and the blades that are going to be produced in the future. Digital twins are really helpful for building circular processes, so one thing they can do is improve the traceability of manufactured products. And so it helps when it comes to end of life, be able to see what's been done before and what needs to be done to recycle it and reuse it in an optimal way. The students we've met so far have been pretty enthusiastic, so they're really at the forefront of what we're thinking at this level, coexistence and co-location, a really strong theme for us. Um, in a busy sea space, this is absolutely spot on to the challenges that we face at the moment in managing the seabed area as Crown Estate. The Aura CDT comes from where the offshore wind industry first grew in the, uh, in the UK and it's where some of the major players are based. So having a, a, a diverse cohort really gives lots of different perspectives and that really is where a lot of the innovation comes from, both in terms of diversity in disciplines but also diversity in experiences. Collaboration has been really like hugely helpful for me personally. Or has given like the perfect tools to create collaboration between students. A broad community of researchers all working towards the same goal, but with different ideas on how to do it. 
is about understanding the breadth of uh, disciplines that are involved, understanding that it's not just engineering, it's not just environment, it's about the integration of the two, understanding the importance of the different disciplines, understanding how to communicate between those disciplines. That what we're doing is not just addressing the immediate problems, but projected forward to, to future problems. The future is uncertain. We don't know what it's going to be like, but we know that there is a place for green energy. And I want to be part of the change that makes that happen. It's so important and we need to act now. Together, we are working towards a sustainable future for offshore wind energy.